Hey, what is up guys? It is King Alpha here and welcome everybody to a brand new video. If you guys missed it already, we unboxed the brand new mouse pad, which you can currently see uh, in the video. It's absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't checked out the video, make sure to do so. But today we're here to unbox the keyboard. Now, um, <laughs> it's a little scuffed. I tried to take this off, but it wouldn't come off. Um, so yeah. <laughs> We don't talk about it, all right? We don't talk about it. But yeah, I am super excited. Um, I will say, I did kind of unbox this a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Because when I got it out of the mailbox, that's what I heard. And me thinking it was broken, I, did, I didn't I did like take anything out. I just kind of made a little area in the box where I could kind of look at it, make sure the keyboard was intact. From what I could see, it was intact. I don't know. I'll have to fully take it out now and see if it's intact, but it looked intact. I think what the rattle is, is the uh, keycap remover and the switch remover. I think that's what's rattling. And now the keyboard itself. Uh, we're going to hope, fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited. So just like the mouse pad video, I have a link to this keyboard in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. Uh, again, this is the Smart Duck XS84. You guys have been, if you guys have been subbed to the channel for a while now, you know that. Uh, I've been talking a lot about it. I'm also getting the Razer Huntsman Elite, which I'm super excited for. But yeah, so this is my small TKL, which if you guys don't know, it's like a 10 keyless keyboard. Basically, it just means it doesn't have the number pad. I'll show you guys my old full keyboard. Um, you guys see here, uh, it's basically a 10 keyless. Is like none of these keys pretty much. So really, like your number keys go away. Um, you, you guys will see, I'll do it on the comparison, but it's really just like this part of the keyboard basically. Um, so like kind of pretty much cutting off this side of the keyboard pretty much is, is what it is. So I'm super excited. Uh, and without further ado, let's hop into it. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button, sub to the channel if you guys are new. Help me reach my goal of 400 subs by the end of the year. I'd really, really appreciate it. And here we go, reveal time. And just so you guys know, this is my first ever mechanical keyboard. Um, I did, uh, you know, this keyboard here was a membrane keyboard. Uh, so this is my first ever mechanical keyboard. I had no clue what I was buying in a sense. I did do a lot of research. Um, before you guys ask, oh, what switches did you get? I ended up going with brown switches because I don't know, after watching a good bit of videos, a lot of people say that brown switches are, is a good option for beginners, if you will, getting into um, keyboards. And then also because, you know, obviously these keyboards here, the pre-built ones are not lubed. So brown switches are like a good compromise. Um, for my Huntsman Elite, um, I'm definitely not going with anything like that. But here we go. I will say uh, this is hot swappable, like I said, so you can switch out the keys. Honestly, I, I do plan on switching out the keys. So here at the top, we have a little uh, menu here. We don't care about that. Get that out of the way. And here we are, the keyboard itself. Oh my God, I am super excited. It looks intact. Here it is right here. Nice sleeve action here, we'll take it out. I'll tell you what, we'll move the box out of the way for just a second. Just slide it, <laughs> slide it right out. If it wasn't broken, it's broken before, <laughs> or it's broken now. And here we are. Oh my God. This is actually a lot heavier than I thought. This actually has a lot of weight to it. But here we are. Look at it. It's insane. So here's the back. We'll focus on the actual key part later, I guess. So it has these four uh, nice rubber pads here. It's got a uh, routing cable area, which is really cool. And it has uh, these things here, which is super cool. And these actually have rubber things on the bottom. Uh, this one actually doesn't have two different angles, so it's just one angle. That's a pretty big difference, not gonna lie. I think this, this must be like a, a nine degree angle or something. So that's, that's, that's a pretty big difference, not gonna lie. But yeah, so it's it's thick, if you guys get a side angle there. It's, it's pretty thick. Um, but yeah, so there's those. There's obviously, you know, it's got the grips on it. And that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the keyboard. I'm sure you guys can do some research on it yourselves. Again, I'll have a link to it in the description. But here's the keys. Here's the keyboard. I'll bring the camera down uh, and give you guys a better look here in just a bit. But yeah, looking very, very nice. Of course, I'll be doing a sound test. 
the, well, some of the keys look kind of angled. I don't know, it's weird how it kind of is angled. Uh, but as you guys can see here, again, I'm gonna do a quick comparison to uh, the difference here. You can see if, if I kind of line it up, it is really just kind of cutting off this side of the keyboard. So there's no number pads, but you still do have your, your 12 function keys up top and you do have your arrow keys. That was really important for me. I wanted my arrow keys uh, as well. So that is something that I was really interested in getting. And that's the reason I did get a 60%. I went with the 75% because I really wanted the, the uh, these here. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are most excited for a sound test. We will get into that. Uh, but dude, just the feel. Again, this is my first ever uh, keyboard like this. So I guess I don't really know what they're supposed to feel. They feel so much better than my other keyboard. Uh, again, these being brown switches, I'll take off the cap so you guys can see. These being brown switches, they're not that loud. They're not that loud, but um, they feel really, really nice. So there is a tiny bit of bump to them, which is nothing I like about the brown switches, especially since I mainly play a lot of Minecraft. It's nice to have a little bump sometimes. Um, you know, so it's nice to kind of feel when they're actually getting pressed. So it has a tiny bit of a bump on it. Um, but yeah, they feel very, very nice. So of course the sound test. So here we are. It does have a little bit of a uh, ting to it. Don't know if you guys can hear that or not. a sound test for you guys we'll do a better one once i actually plug it up so moving that out of the way for just a second coming back to the box here uh you can see we have this thing here i think we're just going to remove this whole thing well, actually we really can't actually all right so everything's under it okay so here we have the cable and then inside of here we have our switch related stuff so here we have our uh remover our uh, cap remover, and this is our switch remover here, in case you want to switch them out. And yeah, that is everything in the box. So we can move that out of the way. Oh, dude, those grips on the bottom are really, really nice. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't know, um, most of these are removable. So we're going to remove the W key real quick. There we go. A lot harder to remove than I originally thought. Um, come out of there. There we go. So this is the keycap for any of you guys that are interested. This is the keycap here. Just like so. And you can see they are, what do you call like double shot D, uh, that's probably completely wrong, but they are like, uh, that extra protective ones. And if you guys wanted to get a look at the switch, stand up. Here's a look at the switch. So you guys can see, again, they are. See, they're supposed to be brown, but they, they kind of look purple. <laughs> they kind of look purple. Yeah, that's what they look like. Very nice. We'll put that back on. Go back on there. There we go. And then again, if you wanted to remove the switches, you can use this to remove the brown switch and then replace them with something else. We're not going to be doing that. We'll set that aside. And then here's the cable, of course, USB-C. That's what everything is switching to nowadays. Very nice cable, just like the uh, the other one. It is very nice. Um, so yeah, so we'll go ahead and plug it in, I guess. I should actually be able to plug this into my, my mouse pad here, actually. Should be able to, I say. I say should, but it doesn't seem to want to work. 
I don't, I'm accidentally hitting the, the button and change it. Yeah, I don't know if it's actually meant to do that actually. So I'll plug it into my uh, keyboard or my computer. It wasn't fitting, it may not be the right size. And then, here we are, we'll go ahead and plug it up. It's kind of a weird angle. Plug it up. There we are, it's connected. <gasps> the RGB is on. Make sure it's in there the right way. Actually, it may not be. The thing about USB-Cs, man, is that they can really go either way. I think the hardest part was gonna be plugging it up. There we go. So, here we go, there it is. So this is the default. Um, let me actually, I think this mouse is connected still. Yeah, okay, it is. Let me just open up some notes real quick. Oh, that feels so good. That way when I click keys, it doesn't actually make a ping. Oh my God, the response time is insane. So for anyone who doesn't know that membrane keyboard, the response time is not that good. The response time on this man is so incredible. The, the how fast I'll be able to click GG to people in game now. <laughs> but yeah, so this is awesome. So um, holding down function will show you all your different options which is pretty cool, you guys can see that there. Again, it fills, you can see caps when it's on, it's highlighted a different color, which is really unique, I love that. So now you know when caps is on, that's really cool. But again, hitting the function key will show you all your different keys here to set all different kind of stuff. Now I don't really wanna mess with any of this. I'm gonna read the manual because some of this stuff has to do with the actual keyboard and I don't wanna mess anything up. So, uh, that manual that I said we didn't need. I'm going to quickly take a look at it here and let's see here. <clears throat> so we have combination keys. Okay, so this is for like volume and stuff. I don't really care about that. Uh, okay, backlight effect. So we have function plus home, full lighting mode. Okay, so uh, function plus home. I'm guessing that's the Windows key. Is it changing? I don't know if it's changing. Oh, there's a home button. Oh, I'm down with the Windows key. I don't know what Windows keys does anymore. <laughs> I mean, I've just effed it up. But as you can see, it's now like in a breathing effect, which is really cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's in a breathing effect now. Um, so function, and then we have, I wanna hit that again because I don't know what that does. Uh, FN plus PGUP interactive lighting mode. So it's gonna be page up, page up. So this is interactive. Oh, I'm in a, in a menu here. So now when I type, you can see the ones that I type actually light up, which is really cool. That's, that's really cool. And then if we hit that again, you can see there's this one. That's really, really cool. I'll be turning off the lights here in just a second. Actually, I'll do it right now so you guys can get a good view of the RGB. So it's like gonna be a lot um, darker, but it's a little bit darker for you guys can see. So there's the RGB for that, looking very nice. And then uh, function page up again, does this. What did it again? Kind of like a, um, a thing. I'm pretty sure you can connect it to audio too. So it's, it's actually like a like a thing. I'm pretty sure you can connect it to something and it can go via audio too, which is pretty cool. So page up again. Oh, look at that. That's pretty unique. And then we have back to default, okay? Next, we have full color lights. That's uh, function plus print. Pretty sure. PRT. PRT. 
Where's a print? Unity keyboards, guys. Is it this one? Print screen. I think it's this one. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. PRT. That's like the only PRT one. It's the only one that's lit up, so I guess it's that one. <laughs> Uh, then we have fn plus delete with this one, and that does light background color. Also, this changes the color. So this changes the actual background color, and then you can also do off. Okay, I'm not really sure how we get rid of this. Uh, and then, so fn and then I'm guessing the arrow keys change the brightness. So we can change the brightness of the RGB. It's like all the way down now. Turn it all the way back up. There we go, so you can control it. And then to the right is speed. Oh yeah, that's way faster, look at that. So you can control the speed of it too, awesome. And then page down is the direction. That's page up. And then page down changes direction that it goes in. Which is kind of cool. So you can redo this, it kind of, so now look, it goes from the top to the bottom. So that's really cool. So now it does that. And then if we hit page down, it goes from the left to the right. That's really, really cool. I just wanted to show you guys this so you guys can see everything that's happening. That is really, really cool. And then, so we want FN plus home, which should be default. There we go. There's the default one. Awesome. It does, yeah, it doesn't have any typing effect. Uh, and you can see seven full lighting modes, five interactive lighting modes. So, uh, function home. Yeah. So, oh, look at that one. That one's really cool. And again, you can com you compare these together. Oh, look at that. It goes down the keyboard. That's really cool. And that one just kind of, oh, it's like a spinning wheel. That one's really, really cool. And then we have that one. Did it blink? I like blink, that's cool. Then we have that one, which is like a wave. I'm sure you guys know the wave. We have this one, which is a breathing effect. And then that one, which is kind of like just changing colors. And then that one, which is really cool. So that's all seven of them. Let me know in the comment section down below, which one do you guys prefer? Uh, but that's really, really cool. The keyboard is, is fantastic. I'll go ahead and bring down the camera for you guys so you can see it a little bit better here. Sorry, <laughs> my mouth just kind of gave up on me. So here's the RGB, of course. You guys have seen that. And then here's a sound test, right? So I'll kind of set you guys up right here if I can. And then I'll lean you down a little bit. Hopefully it stands up right here. Please stand up. Wait, I gotta turn it around botched <laughs> there we go okay here we are Oh, it's the function key. I was like, what's doing that? And there you go. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the keyboard. Let me know what you rate it. This is an awesome keyboard. I definitely do think I'll be switching out the WASD 
probably some different switches or something. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the brown switches, but again, I don't really know, honestly. This is my first mechanical keyboard, and we gotta play some games with it. Um, so yeah, again, if you guys missed the video where we we checked the, uh, the, the mouse pad, make sure you guys go and watch that video. It's already up on the channel. And we just did the keyboard, and then Monday, I'll be doing the mouse uh, one as well. And you guys, I'll show you the side here while it slid up as well. You guys got a good side angle there. Kind of looks like there's nothing there in the back, but yeah, there you go. Let me know what you rate the keyboard in the description. If you guys have any tips, any keyboard pros in the description or excuse me, in the comments, let me know um, what kind of switches should I get or, you know, something like that. Let me know uh, what are some good options. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you all. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.